picked him up on the farm and said that he had a broken wing and they didn't leave. Doug the Tony Eagle has learned to stand on an artificial leg. Sometimes finding his balance is tough. Two years ago, Doug received an electric shock while patching on a power line, injuring not only his leg, but also his left wing. The Soisambo Raptor Center situated in Kenya's Rift Valley helps injured birds like Doug. Dr. Julia Twayaki, a resident veterinarian here, says harm to birds is usually caused by one of three things. Persecution, electrocution and poisoning, those are mostly the cases we get to experience here. This crown eagle's encounter with power lines left her with damage to her eyes, wing and brain. The species is listed as near threatened by the International Union for Conservation of Nature, a global authority in the field. Kenya is home to 103 species of birds of prey or raptors. In recent years, the country's human population has grown, encroaching on the bird's habitat and installing miles of deadly electric lines. Simon Thompson is the manager of the Soisambo Raptor Center. The 10 to 32 kV poles being put up nationally, uh, the rate that they're putting up is incredibly impressive, um, but that also means that the rate of deaths would be proportional to the amount of lethal poles that are being put in. A 2022 study published in the journal Biological Conservation found the raptors are on a catastrophic decline. In Kenya, sightings of the once common raptors, such as the ogre buzzards, hooded vultures, and the long crested eagles, are down by more than 80% in 40 years. Thompson says he has dedicated his entire life to protecting raptors. I think what people seem to think is that you're a professional conservationist, you're getting paid to do this job. We're not. We do everything pro bono. And Researchers say raptors can help reduce farmers' losses by feeding on the rodents that eat their crops. They also help eliminate disease-carrying carcasses from the environment. But researchers say the birds' feeding habits can also put them at risk of injury or death if they ingest prey species such as mice or rats that have been poisoned. Peter Njoroge heads the ornithology department at the National Museums of Kenya. He says there are ways to build infrastructure like power lines while also protecting birds. There is bird-friendly infrastructure for transmission that will protect the birds, that will help uh, conserve birds of prey. And to go further on that, it's better when they are planning these things that they use bird-friendly infrastructure than to retrofit later on. But the authors of the 2022 study also say further raptor declines could be prevented if the government put species recovery plans in place. Francis Ontomoa, VOA News, Nakuru, Kenya.